tutorial on how to play shoe shopping by Old Dominion. The song is in standard tuning and there's no capo. We've got some chords to learn here. We have a G chord, a D chord, a C chord, an E minor, and if you can play bar chords, a B minor chord. Your G chord is your second fret, second string, index finger, your middle finger on the third fret, low E string, and your pinky and your ring finger on the B, high B and E strings on the third fret. That's the chord we're going to start out with, and it's going to go for two strokes, two down strokes, one, two, and then you're going to jump to your B minor. If you can't play your B minor, you're going to go to a D instead for two strokes. Um, but your B minor is played by your barring the five strings down from the A down on the second fret, your middle finger on the third fret of the B string, ring finger on the 4th fret of the D string, and your pinky right under on the G string of the 4th fret. So that's your B minor, and you'll play that for two down strokes. If you can't play that, you're going to play your D, which is with your index finger on the G string of the 2nd fret, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the high E string, and your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B string. Then you're going to go to your C, which is 1st fret, 2nd string, you're going to go to put your middle finger on the 2nd fret of your D string, and your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the A string. And you're going to go 4 down strokes there. So, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can also play an E minor instead of that C if you'd like to. An E minor is just with your 2nd fret on the uh, D string for your index finger and your middle finger on the 2nd fret for the A string. That's with the C and this is with the E minor. You can also play a D chord instead of the E minor as I just discussed, so it would be 1, 2, D, 3, 4, C. So that progression can be played throughout the entire song. If you'd like to learn this part, where in the intro I went like this. Um, that is accomplished by starting in your G position strumming these top couple notes, plucking the 4th fret of the G string, jumping to this chord where you have your index on the 2nd fret of the G string, middle finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, and your ring finger on the 4th fret of the uh, D string. Strumming that, then plucking that D note, or that D string, not that D note and then go into your C. So. And that's all there is for this song. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or something is confusing, please comment below. If you'd like to see more videos and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my page. Thank you for watching.